This is the new pumpkin. <laughs> Ta da! Good morning and welcome to another video on this channel, guys. Uh, today is Monday and I'm just getting ready. I'm gonna drop Liam to nursery and then I'm going to uh, like an event. I'm not sure if it's an event, I think it's one on one appointment uh, with Vichy. Uh, so I think they're gonna do something like a skin mapping or something like that. I don't have much time, so I just, hence why I put my hair in the bun. And I'm gonna wear quite a casual outfit, which I'll show you, but I'm also filming what I wore this week. So the same outfit probably will appear in the other video. Liam is chatting here in the background. I'm not taking out the uniform yet, just because I know when he sees the uniform he's gonna cry. And I wanted to do intro without tears. I can already see. He's a little bit moody, not keen on going to nursery, but anyway. And also I wanted to show you something that arrived this weekend, and that's the new fragrance uh, by NARS, and I'm loving it. I can't, I can't pick up on the notes, but I can pick up on the mood. It feels like a sexy, mysterious, like femme fatale type of fragrance, and I'm gonna wear it today. So I'm cheating on uh, by Killian Rolling in Love, which I've been wearing constantly. Uh, but this is so, so good. So I'm gonna try to remember and link it down below, guys. But go and definitely check it out at the counter if you get time, because it's beautiful. And it just arrived in such a nice box. I did open it on my stories. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's Evie Glamazon. I post like a lot of stories, a lot of styling videos, obviously fashion, beauty content. But let's finish this. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Also gonna film it for another video, then get ready and we heading out. We've got loads to do today. Okay, so I had to move the mirror here, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see anything. So I'm wearing quite a casual outfit with some of my favorite pieces. So I took out this trench coat, which is from All Saints. I think they don't have the exact one, but very similar one. So I'll link it down below. Just gray t-shirt for uh, four leather joggers and Givenchy boots. I'm probably gonna buckle them up. And this cute little bag and just these earrings just to add a bit of sass to this. But it looks actually much better when you close the jacket. So, Okay, so this is what it looks like. This should not have been creased because I just got it uh, dry cleaned. So maybe on the way back it kind of happened. Yeah, but this is the Monday look. So I just got on Oxford Street and passing the TK Maxx here and this one is so good honestly, the one on Oxford Street. Look at all these bags. This is JW Anderson and that's like 500 I think. So good. These are all Aspinall bags but they've got like Chloe and everything. Let's see what else they have. This would be like nice work bag or Cochinel. Really nice. And it's raining! And but fun fact, I don't like umbrellas, so unless it's like properly lashing, I never take it out. I just took the TK Max. This one is really good for bags, so you probably have seen it, but like they've got this, I don't know if I recorded, but they've got this cute Stella McCartney Falabella bag, which is like sparkly, so it'd be nice for evening. It is honestly a mini bag, and mini bags are still going really big. And they also have the Chloe one, the round ones, so a lot of good choice. And I think the rain is getting a bit better. I'm just going to Holland Street, that's where the Vichy thing is on. So let's go! Okay, whilst I'm here, this is an amazing Mexican restaurant. Honestly, like one of the best I've ever tried, Corazon. So if you guys are on Holland Street or in the area, this is really cool. Oh, 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 oh,
breakfast from Detox Kitchen. Yeah. They do really good stuff, don't they? H&M. I just picked up Lynn from the nursery and um, I basically had to get him like a cheap two jackets that are more like waterproof. So I've got this water game in the nursery. So I popped into Primark, just got like two cheap jackets that will do the job. Because I decided I don't want to give him really anything expensive. <laughs> He's like wet every day, which is crazy. Anyway, what am I doing? So I am basically going to pop into a couple of shops and I want to do Tiger and TK Maxx just to get start to get some stuff for like autumn decoration but also for Halloween party. So I'm not going to do the full haul because I want to kind of properly this This is pretty, look at that. Look at all these fluffy ones. Let's hate you in home. Yeah, so I want to get like... Um, uh, a couple of basic which I know I'll definitely use. Oh wow. Oh, they've got so much pretty stuff, look. Let's do TK Maxx. Uh, just to see what they have because they only have got gorgeous, like the snazzy, like the gold pumpkins decoration. I love TK Maxx from the home sense as well. And then I'm gonna pop into Tiger. I've got like fun strolls and like Halloween bunting and stuff like that, so let's do that. So I'm checking some Halloween costumes for Liam. He likes like ghost vampires, but it's all girly ones. And then like firemen, policemen. We've got um, one at home which is a pirate, but I know he would love like a, a proper scary one, so I need to look elsewhere. Okay, I found more upstairs. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased, they've got loads. Let me have a look. <gasps> There's a vampire one, but that's too big. Oh my god, he loves vampires. Let me have a look. And it's funny, I came here for Halloween and they already have a lot of Christmas stuff, that's crazy. Okay, I think he wants this zombie one. He loves zombies. Okay, that's a zombie. Okay, we'll look at it at home, yeah? Properly, yeah? We get... That's like a skeleton, but it's a zombie skeleton, yeah? So I'm at Tiger and also I feel like they had so much more when I was here only a few days ago. So this is what I got. Hopefully there will be plenty. I have got a few bits at home like the lights and I think kind of when you use the nets like these ones. These ones. I think that will do a lot of kind of vibes in the decoration. my new cozy socks <laughs> and just put on like something nice and warm and cozy make a cup of tea and start to edit this vlog but um, basically how would I summarize this haul or shopping trip it was so so like um, I must say I didn't expect that the Halloween stuff is gonna go so quickly so Tiger had so much more last week so in a week like so much of the good stuff is gone TK Maxx not even mentioning because it was all Christmas stuff so I really wanted some pumpkins I saw them last year but we were moving house and I'm like there's no really point to get any of these I'm just gonna be moving more stuff so I didn't get any stuff at TK Maxx last year like the one I wanted and I just saw um, another youtuber and uh, influencer Louise Cooney she just got such a cute ones in TJ Maxx in New York so that was definitely somewhere where I wanted to go because they had loads again like two weeks ago but we were on holidays this and that so I only got this gold one but I would love like a nice small one to go with it maybe put on the table so this is more kind of a home decor kind of long long term which I'm gonna kind of leave on not just for Halloween so this will look really nice with my new flowers maybe I'll show you later before I finish this vlog 
So this is the new pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Shout out to these two. So I mentioned it earlier. I went to Primark just to get Liam like a cheap jacket that would be waterproof and I, I wanted like two so I know I always have got dry ones because honestly every day they had to change his clothes and he was soaking where they've got this game outside which is water. So I went to um, Primark and I saw these, two pounds, oh my god and they fit so well so this is like a four leather one, it fits so so well it kind of reminds me the vibes of the leather ball which i wanted to get in zara but this is like two pounds and then this one and i'm so happy because i wanted to get a nice headband in zara and something wasn't just quite right and when you pay 20 pounds for a headband and two pounds it's a big difference but these ones actually fit really well so shout out to these by the way the glitter from the pumpkin gets everywhere so just be careful if you get something similar and then I just had to pop into Sainsbury's. So I got the spider webs. This would be my number one tip if you're buying a Halloween decoration. These are actually cheaper, like Asda or Sainsbury's, uh, rather than Tiger. So I think Tiger sells one for two pounds. These were only pounds, so I got three for three pounds. And then I got these little ghosts, which Liam adores. So I'm gonna hang this somewhere during the party. Uh, then Liam loves zombies, anything scary basically. He doesn't want to go like, you know, to be a dinosaur or anything like that. So he picked this zombie mask. This is from TK Maxx. I don't know if it's gonna, but this is what it looks like when you put it on. So pretty scary, but really easy to put on. So it's got a mask. I guarantee he will not want to wear the mask, but. Yeah, this was only £13. You just have to check uh, stuff for like costumes, Halloween costumes in CK Max. They always have a really good selection. Okay, and now let's get onto these are my cozy socks, which I just got in Primark as well. Let's get onto the stuff for actual party. So I'll start with these. I'm, I think I'm going to put these outside of the house. I also wanted to get like um, a wreath, but I'm like, oh my god. Do I need a wreath on the main door for Halloween? I'll think about it, obviously. It's not Halloween yet. They had a nice one in TK Maxx. Really loved the vibes. That was like £13. But anyway, so these I will put outside in our pots. Happy Halloween, just kind of so when people come they see this. And then I just got this like this. So I got the buckets, maybe like for popcorn. These have got like nice growth. I think people love that. Got some of the chocolate style. I can't remember the prices, but these are like scary pumpkins. I think I assume these will be chocolate. Um, balloons. I think we still have got some helium from uh, Liam's party. So these I loved. Like a scary ghost skeleton. So I can hang these around in the living room. Uh, some sort of bunting. This one said spooky. And just got a little spider. So this can go on the fireplace. And a skeleton straws. I got eight. I don't know how many kids are coming. There's quite a few people because it's a half turn that they can't make it, but whatever. Even if it's just for Liam, he will love this. And I got these. These are like napkins, pumpkin ones. And then I love these. I think these will be quite cool even just to put on the wall. These are like a paper Batmans when you create created like that. I think it's got two each. So we've got four of these and we've got pumpkin lights. I have got one extra at home somewhere. I may have a little bit more stuff from maybe previous years but I'll see. And then I just got these eyeballs and then I may pop into another tiger. Uh, just I don't know I feel like oh yeah there was one more thing. When they were charging me I bought this light pumpkin like it was like a light um, it had some sort of effect and they just had something wrong with the barcode so they're like oh you can't buy it so even the manager was like you can't buy it I'm like okay fine so anyway this is this is the whole guys um, I don't know guys if you celebrate Halloween or whatever but London is quite big and Liam just loves it so I decided to, to do a, a bit of party for them uh, not on the Halloween day, but the weekend before. We're also obviously going to pick up more pumpkins. We're going to go to Pumpkin Patch, which I'm going to 
vlog. I think I vlogged it last year, uh, but I want to do like a, a week of intensive video. So seven days like a vlogtober, but like a week one. So that, that probably is going to appear at some point during that week. I'm thinking maybe next week. Um, but I need to sit down tomorrow. Yeah, time is money. I thought I'm going to do so much more today, but we literally just got home and it's four o'clock. And I need to like cook and do all the other stuff. Uh, and start to edit this. So this is it. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take the gold pumpkin, everything probably stays here in this room. Hide it from Liam, otherwise he will want to play with everything. Uh, so I'm gonna hide it and then I'm gonna try to see where I can put the, put the gold pumpkin, but I'll probably pop into another TK Max that has got a home section and try to see if they have maybe like a nice small one to go with it. They did have, but orange, and I need more orange. So that's it and let's catch up downstairs right I love it it's a little bit too big but I think for now I'm gonna leave it here it goes perfect with my flowers oh so pretty <laughs> I'm gonna make a cup of tea now Liam is asleep there on the sofa so I don't want to talk too loud I'll make a cup of tea and then cook and then probably say goodbye and that's the end of the vlog guys I have got actually quite lots to do which I want to get out of the way, but first I'm going to get changed, make that cup of tea. I've already boiled the water and then organize everything that has to be done. I start to edit this vlog, but thanks very much for watching. This was something slightly different, a little Halloween home decor haul and uh, just me bringing you to another event. Um, guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video. I would love it if you basically just uh, join me on this YouTube journey. Uh, every new subscriber just makes me so so happy like I love what I'm doing otherwise I would probably quit you know three two months into uh, basically starting YouTube but the more people watch the videos obviously the more motivating it is and if you like the content just share it share it with your friends maybe share it on your Facebook page whatever like it would mean so much to me on or, or on stories um, I I do share basically people that I like myself as well like when I started to discover all the Irish girls living in New York I shared it a lot um, because I think it's it's nice to share things you like um, so it would mean so much to me if you share it or any sort of mention that would be amazing so thanks very much for watching guys you know what to do and I'll see you in my next video